Find the standard deviation of the following sample of profits, $200, $210, $215, and $240. First of all, we'll be looking at the sample standard deviation, and that sample standard deviation is denoted with S, whereas the population standard deviation is sigma, that Greek letter sigma. I'll just write that down. That's for the population standard deviation. But we want the sample, sample standard deviation, and that's denoted with small s. That equals the square root of the sum of these values, x minus x bar quantity squared over n minus 1, and it's the square root of this entire fraction. First of all, this sum sign, this, means to add up the values, the values that are uh, after, after the, the sigma sign. So the x minus x bar quantity squared, and we'll have a, a number of those, and we'll add all of those up. n is, uh, n is equal to 4 here, so n equals 4, so n minus 1 will be 3. The x bar is, just to remind yourself, that is the, the sample mean. So let's get these values and, and use this formula. Okay, in Excel, I have the x values. I found the mean. I typed in equals average of these values. And then in each of these spots, in these cells, I have, for example, equals 200 minus 216.25. And, and I did that in Excel language, equals this, this cell B2 minus the cell C2. These dollar signs mean that I'm, I'm keeping this cell constant, constant in this formula. So you'll see that, that B8 is constant in all of those formulas. But as I move down, this is uh, subtracting 210, or the contents of cell B3. Okay, so that is x minus x bar for each one of these. So for each one of these values x, we take uh, this value and then subtract the mean. And then I square, square each one of these values. So in Excel language, I have the contents of C2 the negative 16.25 quantity squared, or the just caret 2. That's Excel for uh, to the second power. And I do that for each of these. And then I take the total, the total of these. And this is what we were doing up here. We were adding these values. So, so that's, that's this value right here, the total of x minus x bar quantity squared. Okay, now let's plug this into the formula now that we have the information. We have s equals the square root of the sum of these values. That is our 868.75 divided by 3, because n is 4, and 4 minus 1 is 3. And it's the square root of that entire thing. And the standard deviation, then, of these values does have the same label as the original numbers. So the standard deviation is $17.02. Now, it's, it's kind of nice to just understand where standard deviation comes from. You do it once, you've got it. From now on, now you can do it on Excel, because really, Excel ma makes it a lot faster, especially if you have more numbers. Now, the, uh, the function for finding the standard deviation, the sample standard deviation, is STDEV. I'll type that in there. Equals STD. EV. If you forget this, remember again that you can always look it up with this function key. And be careful when you see that function key, um, when you use that function key, you will see a standard deviation. Let's get down there to the S for standard deviation. This is the standard deviation we want. Um, standard deviation of a sample. 
we also have standard deviation of the population. And if the problem tells you that you have all of the numbers in the population, absolutely, then use the population. But most of the time, you will be using the standard deviation of the sample, sample standard deviation. So, so key on that, STDEV, and then we're going to choose all these numbers. That's B2 through B5, and we click OK, and look at that. There's our standard deviation of this sample of numbers. And by the way, this is an older version of Excel. It's Excel from Office XP. The newer versions certainly have all of the same features.